What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, yesterday a big announcement was announced on the Pokemon.com website, and that was the TCG format rotation for the 2018 uh, season. Uh, so basically, standard format is going to be Breakthrough and Own. Uh, the Black Star promos XY, uh, XY67 up are still legal, and Sun and Moon 01 and up. Uh, this means that like Jirachi and Hoopa and Evil are all still legal, so we're still good on those, and cards the following products are also legal generations xy trainer kit cinnamon kit and mcdonald's collection i'll leave a link down below to the pokemon news website where you can see this um and the other big thing as well was the expanded format for 2018 nothing is changing it seems like even though they threatened a ban on some cars they are still not doing a ban uh looks like they're still looking into it for further to see if they are going to ban some cards i know some of the cars that people want banned and expanded are probably like archaeops maybe forest of giant plants vile plumes stuff like that but nothing has been announced for a ban uh this could change later on i'm still reading the list right here for sure um but yeah, expandos to be black and white owned. There's I I don't know how many sets there is. Probably like almost thirty. It seems like uh, black and white and own black stars promo bit black and white X Y one and Sun and Moon uh, generations and all these other billion other sets are legal and expanded. So expanded will still be here for next season. I was hoping they would get away with it. Uh, but looks like they're not. And we're gonna go over some of the cards that are gonna be missed in standard format. Now, uh, a lot of these are trainer cards that we are going to miss. There's some other big names as well in here that we'll see. And you see these are all the cards that will be missed in standard. Now, there's probably a ton. But these are the main staples that we see a lot uh, in the f game nowadays. The first up is Lugie X. We saw this get second place this year at U.S. Nationals or U.S. Internationals with the Aero Ball and Deep Hurricane. Uh, luckily, Aero Ball is reprinted in Tapu Lele if you're, if you're ever worried about a card that has like a billion energy and you want to punish your opponent while well, Tapu Lele is still there to help you out if needed that way and Deep Hurricane is a really good attack for 150 damage if you want to use that but Lugia will be missed it was played in a bunch of decks I remember the first time I got to interact with Lugia was with a Bronzong Lugia deck piloted by Jacob Hope where he destroyed me uh, playing this card and that was pretty cool uh, next up is probably one of the saddest uh, not not the saddest one of the saddest cards for me is Mega Rayquaza with that ammo break uh, Ammo Break, one of the strongest cards. It had the, death, the, the Delta Evolution a trait being evolved on your first turn. Super strong, and unfortunately, Mega Quaza will be a miss. Uh, it has a place in my heart because I got to play uh, Metal Quaza before a lot of other people did, so that was really cool to play before anybody else did. And my number one card on here that I'm going to miss, and I know a lot of people are probably happy that it's rotating, uh, but I will surely miss it, and that is going to be Shaman EX or Shay Bay. Oh, man. Setup, draw, do you have six cards in your hand? One of the strongest, if not probably yeah probably one of the strongest cards in the game ever uh really really strong just helps set up made consistency deck so great uh but now you're probably have to play like octillery or rangaroos make sure you pick those up before the season rotates you pick up your rangaroos and octillers because those cards will increase in price uh once the set does uh, rotate out gear 10 ex uh, not really played that much anymore but was a really strong deck, making where Mega Evolutions cannot hurt it, and Chaos will shut down the tools, special energies, and stadium cards from your opponent's hand. Uh, one Red Rock, which really, I mean, not, not one Red Rock, a Red Rock, uh, it didn't really see too much play later on. It definitely saw some play in Pancakes and Darkrai, and still was in some Darkrai decks later on, just because that barrier trait, making where tools and stadium cards cannot affect, or tool stadiums and supporter cards cannot affect Red Rock, which was really cool to see. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I, a trainer card trainer card get that right josh uh cannot affect red rocks so like license or crush hammer hand hammer all that stuff could not affect a red rock and it would just hold a bunch of energies we saw this use like a set of pancakes and dark right throughout the year uh the next card a lot of people are going to miss is these flareons evolutions uh we got the the, the evolution sorry uh we got the flare with the flare type flare effect make your stage one fire we got the uh not best queen what are you doing there uh they pour on making your uh, stage one water and your lightning of uh poke or your stage one lightning uh, i don't know i don't know what's going on guys i'm talking bad right now but all these three will be missed uh for sure the flare on it was used a lot especially later on to counter the sidui and metagross but now this card will be rotated out unfortunately we cannot hit for weakness on these pokemon and uh, next one the main part of that win with it was vespa queen uh vespa queen wait hold on i forgot to put a card in here i already know what card i forgot to put in and that is unknown uh, unknown feral letter would not be here anymore we'll go over that here in a second but vespa queen with that 
be your revenge. We saw this win uh, regionals. It did, did fairly well forever, and we'll continue on doing well in expanded. I imagine we'll see Vesta Queen and Flare on return in expanded format. But for right now, we will miss our B friend. Uh, no more B revenge. No more point of Pokemon you discard pile, which means like you really don't have to worry about like Karen and Oracorio kind of die off as well. Uh, going into the next season, it will be missed for sure. Uh, next up is going to be Vile Plume. No more irritating pollen, unfortunately. Uh, you, no more shutting out item cards. It could still be used in Expanded, so watch out Expanded. It's still one of the strongest cards in there. But no more shutting out item cards in the standard format. Uh, unknown. Uh, a really good card in Vest Queen. I mean, Vest Queen dies off, Unknown kind of dies off. Also, we saw Unknown later on being used for Mallow decks. You can, like, Mallow, play Unknown, draw the card you need immediately. Really strong card, and unfortunately, it will be missed as well. Next up will be Gyarados with that full retaliation. It won a regionals. It made cut at multiple events, and it proved itself strong. Even when uh, Decidueye and, er and everything else was running around, Gyarados still managed to win a regionals, uh, showing that, hey, you know, Gyarados is always a really strong card. And with that a double allowing two tools attached to it and made it a really monster of a card and uh, next up it's not a card we really see anymore but we had to include whale or yaks uh, who, I, you can never forget nationals where it got second place and um, making us all like oh my goodness we're playing against whaler like all cringe when you see your opponent flip over whaler and like oh man how do I deal with this deck out deck uh, so whaler DX will be missed uh, just a 250 HP monster max potion and everything like that keep it alive forever and that's gonna be all the Pokemon that we really are gonna miss uh, now if I miss something let me know down below in the comments I'm there's a billion different Pokemon that got rotated out and uh, we'll try to help clear up some things if you think your card got rotated out we'll let you know down below in the comments like I said cards like Evatol are still leaving Legal. Jirachi promo is still legal. Hoopa EX is still legal. Uh, Latios EX is still legal. There's a lot of different 10 cards that have came out and that keep cards alive throughout the year. Um, next up is a, there's a bunch of trainer cards and that's what people are going to miss the most uh, coming to rotation. Acrobike, really only used in Vessel Queen, but still really strong. Look at top two cards of your deck. Discard one, put the other in your hand. Uh, we've got the Dive Ball, which really wasn't played too much, especially only only if you play like straight water decks. But you know, search for water Pokemon. It was really cool to see. Uh, so now water decks will kind of not really struggle. They just don't have these really good consistency cards through Dive Ball. Uh, Level Ball would not exist anymore either. Uh, 982 Pokemon or less. Um, but still, all these cards are legal and expanded because it's black. It's, it's X and Y. No, black and white owned. Yeah, black and white owned. Uh, Mega Turbo will be uh, rotating out as well, which means Megas will. S will for sure see a decline like Mega Gardevoir and stuff like that. Um, it, they already were dying off, but now with Mega Turbo being rotated out, it's going to be hard for the Megas to keep up, uh, especially with these new GX Pokemon coming out. Uh, the next two cards are probably the two that hit home the most for people. That is Trainer's Mill. And now Trainer's Mill in its last life, it did start getting uh, less and less played because of Garboder coming out. Uh, Garboder just shutting down Trainer cards. But now, um, later on... Like, Garbodo will slowly start dying, and so people will start missing Trainer's Mill because they can't play it anymore. But Trainer's Mill is not a card anymore in the standard format. And the biggest card probably out of this a whole list that people are going to miss is VS Seeker. VS Seeker is played in almost every single deck. No, except for Vile Plume decks. But still, VS Seeker, put a put a card from your Discord in your hand. One of the most strongest cards we've seen in a long time, and it will be missed. And it's going to be interesting to see how people build their decks, uh, especially people who have not played in the VS Seeker format, um, who are not used to this. Uh, it def it's definitely going to change some games and some minds up for sure. And it's going to be interesting to see how people build decks, uh, because what happens now is people are just like Juniper or Sycamore, their hand away, and like whatever. I have these other supporter cards later on via the VS Seeker, but now you have to play multiple cards of these one of text. So you can't really play a one of text supporter card anymore because there's not VS Seeker in your deck to reuse it. Uh, so that's one thing you have to think about uh, going into the future of Pokemon right now. Uh, Force Giant Plants. I mean, we lose Vile Plume, but still. Um, no more turn one deciduous, which is unfortunate. Uh, no more Venusaur. Uh, if you look forward, there's a Venusaur card that looks pretty cool. But no more Forest uh, Giant Plants. But mark my word, it'll still be high, high, heavily played and expanded. Uh, rough Seas as well. Another shot to the Water Pokemon. They have no more Diet Ball, no more Rough Seas. They still have Aqua Patch, though. Shrine of Memories will be rotated out. Uh, the only card that really uses is Mega Mewtwo, and even then, Mega Mewtwo really hasn't seen play in a long time because of Garboder coming in play. Uh, one Sound Lab, or not one Sound Lab, just Sound Lab in general, is being rotating, um, which means, like, 
you like you're really safe playing Tapu Lele now, unless your opponent gets like a turn one Garboder through like Wally. I think did Wally survive? Did Wally survive, guys? I don't know. Um, let me see here. Um, I think Wally survives via generations. Yeah, so Wally's still alive, so we're good. We're good. Maybe turn one Wally into Garboder could shut down like Tapu Lele or something like that. Um, but uh, Silent Lab will be missed and Skyfield. On the biggest partner with Skyfield was uh, Renegade Rakraza, but it was also played in some other decks as well, like Volcanion, uh, Raichu, Lycanroc. There's uh, some other decks that kind of use Skyfield just so you can have more than five bench spots, but now you only limit to five or less than that because Parallel City still does exist. Uh, one card that wasn't really used in Standard too much, but some people did play it to kind of like stall people, was Team Aqua Secret Base, making where Pokemon have one retreat cost. And the biggest card that is uh, the Magma and Aqua based Pokemon, uh, Pokemon cards is the Team Magma Secret Base. We know this is partnered well with Drampa. Uh, Drampa just being able to abuse this card, hit that maximum amount of damage. But now, no more Team Magma Secret Base. You're forced to use a Rainbow Energy or let a Pokemon take a hit before your Drampa uh, can do maximum damage. A card that was played a Greninja a lot was Ace Trainer. It would no longer be played. It could sometimes punish your opponent for taking early prize cards as well. But Ace Trainer would not be played either. Greninja is still alive though. Don't worry. You can still play Greninja. You just lose things like Dive Ball and Love Ball and stuff like that. Uh, but still, I think Greninja is going to be a great deck for next format for sure. Uh, Haxmaniac will be lost as well unless they reprint a full art. Uh, I think there's a Japanese full art that we've seen before. But I have not seen an American full art Haxmaniac. So maybe we'll see this card come back. Uh, but no more turning off abilities turn one. So not only do we lose Sound Lab, we lost Haxmaniac as well. Um, so that's unfortunate. Uh, one Lysander, Lys one Lysander, Lysander will be another big, big card that we are going to lose. Uh, so if you want to play some Lysander base stacks, you better get some Lycanroc. Uh, Lycanroc could see some play, like a 1-1 one, one line or 2-2 two, two line, maybe, I don't know. Um, but Lysander is going to be no more to switch your opponent's bench with his or her active, unfortunately. Uh, teammates is another good card that we are going to miss. Uh, it was really played in Best of Queen and later on in its life. A lot of people started putting in their decks. We saw this played in multiple of the top eight decks in uh, U.S. internationals. But now teammates will be rotated out. Unfortunately, Winona, uh, Winona wasn't really played too much. Um... I just like this card a lot, especially in like our quasi decks and stuff like that. And we did see it play in, uh, in Talent Flame Break, so no longer can you play Winona in Talent Flame Break. And we're losing Double Dragon, uh, which doesn't really seem that relevant anymore. I mean, you're using a Dark Rye for like Giratina, uh, but there's a Noiver that's coming out that can really use a Double Dragon, but unfortunately, there's no Double Dragon for that Noiver, and it's going to be interesting to see how that Noiver deck will work out. But there we go, there is all the cards that are rotated. And like I said, there's probably more that I'm missing. Uh, this is a rough list that I made, um, just searching on the internet, looking through multiple different websites. And also, um, even though the rotation happens, the rotation happens in the 2018 season, so um, will not occur until September 1st. So, um, that means that the regional championship in Liverpool, UK, um, and the 27 world in the Pokemon World Championship um, will still use these cards. So the regional championship in the Liberal UK and the Pokemon World Championship will still use these cards, and we will have a little uh, time to play these cards with the new set coming out. Um, what is it, Burning Shadows or something like that? That's coming out. So we will be able to play some of these cards with Burning Shadows, but after that, once September hits, we will not be able to play these cards anymore, only in the expanded format. And I'm, I'm interested, guys. Uh, not only tell me cards that you that you've seen that I miss that are not on here, but what are some cards you want to see banned and expanded? I know my main ones are Archaeops. I want to see Archaeops banned. I want to see Forest of Giant Plants banned. And I want to see Vileplume banned. Or not even Vileplume, just, just Forest of Giant Plants. If you just ban Forest of Giant Plants, I think that's fine. Just ban those two. And uh, maybe Trevenant, even though Trevenant is not really that bad anymore. But it'd be interesting to see how decks will be built. And there's no Archaeops and no Forest of Giant Plants. That shuts down the Vileplume decks. It shuts down the Evil Tall Archaeops decks. And you're able to build more uh, exciting stuff and expand in. And that's pretty much two cards I want to see banned and expanded. But what are some cards that you want to see expanded? Like I said, down below it's going to be the link to the Pokemon page where you can read more about this rotation. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you have a great day. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think uh, down below in the comments, but have a great day. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.